definitely going into this thought, okay, I'm going to, you know, work my butt off for two months and then I'm going to go back and things are going to be completely back to normal. I need to keep on reminding myself that things are not going to be like they were before coronavirus. So I have one more week until I get to go home. So that's four more shifts. I am packing up the last of my stuff. I'm the last traveler on the unit who has been there since day one. All the people that that's their home unit, um, they're taking this time off because they were working so, so hard before we got there. And then there's people who have just been working a bunch of overtime because they know, you know, other people have families and stuff and they're very selfless people. I kind of feel selfish. Like I get to go home to my family and my life. Some of these people were totally fine until they weren't. Uh, some of these people were in great health. I think we should probably be more careful than we're being, but at the same time, people are wanting their sanity back and uh, wanting to have social events back because that's what makes us human. Every day I FaceTime Brendan and we talk about how we can't wait to see how Cooper reacts when I'm home. Even when I leave for like four hours, he freaks out. I miss them both so much and uh, this was a very hard two months because of that. I'm back at my desk. So happy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> at the end of the day, um, although I'm so happy to be home, I'm also so grateful that I was able to have this experience and to feel like I impacted the world and people's lives, as well as them impacting mine.